Hello? Elon Musk should of course connect with you even though he doesn't know that you even exist. Hello? I literally just fixed Twitter for him. You are watching the chat God channel. Basically you want to put the development of a chatbot or large language model like ChatGPT at the heart of Twitter. Content is a function of the business model of the platform. Current attention kings are crazy YouTubers or hot porn stars. And you want to fix that by redirecting the focus of attention to AI development. We would probably see an arms race to the top of human intelligence. You are watching the Chat God channel. David, you've been quite outspoken about your differences with Elon Musk, the mechanic as you call him in the past. Well, he pronounced the final solution to the human question. Man and machine must merge. So yes, evidently I have my problems with the mechanic Elon Musk. Okay, I don't want to get into the philosophy behind brain chips right now. Instead, tell me, how can you change Elon Musk's mind if he is so wrong about the future of humanity? The problem here is that you can only change someone's mind if you reach them in the first place. You see, the problem of the internet is that even though everybody is connected now, people do not know whom to connect with. And Elon Musk should of course connect with you even though he doesn't know that you even exist. Yes, of course. I mean, Alexander the Great had Aristotle as philosophical advisor and Nero had Seneca. Now, who is Elon Musk's great philosophical guide? Well, perhaps it is going to be Jordan Peterson one day soon. They seem to be flirting an awful lot on Twitter. Someone who has never thought about artificial intelligence in his life, but is instead reading the Bible to neo-Christians. Well then, gute Nacht, as we say in German. You know, good night. Meaning that would be the beginning of the end? The problem is that none of these attention kings understands the fundamental problem they are all dealing with. All of them receive a tremendous influx of attention, but also feedback, and they do not know which feedback to concentrate on. You mean they don't know which follower to listen to? Yes, I mean, they are kind of like Jesuses with millions of followers. How are you supposed to choose the select 12 who will bring the best out of you? So you are really talking about the problem of how to place your followers into a hierarchy of sorts. Absolutely. The problem of the attention meritocracy is not just a collective problem. Most importantly, actually, it is an individual problem. All of us are not just staring at an infinite virtual library, not knowing where to click, not knowing which questions to ask and search for. But we are also staring at a seemingly infinite network of human connections, not knowing which relationships to prioritize, because we cannot tell which one would be the most meaningful. All right, let's play this through. This could be fun. Let's assume that you are the singular node in this network which Elon Musk should pay attention to. Presumably because by listening to you, he would go through the most profound transformation. Hello? I literally just fixed Twitter for him. AI development, attention currency, recruitment score. Has anyone even scratched at the surface of these ideas? Do you know, Walter? Okay, so let's make this more about money. If, if Elon Musk were to listen to you, he could fix Twitter and become a trillionaire. More importantly, by listening to me, humanity would be saved from Elon Musk and his final solution to the human question. Man and machine must merge. Man and machine must merge. Jesus Christ. You are watching the Chat God channel. Okay, so let's go with the dramatic angle then. The internet is the place where you can connect with your personal Jesus. And in the case of Elon Musk, you, David, are his savior. His and humanities, to be precise. Right, well, assuming all of this is true, how does attention king Elon Musk notice you, his personal Jesus? Walter, this is exactly the problem we have been discussing for ages. How to manifest an attention meritocracy. Yes, I know, but this seems to be a much more particular and fun 
problem to discuss than, you know, fixing the media landscape on a general level. Yes, well, I mean, building the ideal attention meritocracy is, is a much harder problem than fixing Elon Musk's personal attention feed. Okay, well, then why don't you describe how Elon Musk could use Twitter in order to get access to the greatest ideas on Twitter in order to reform Twitter? Look, Walter, I have told you before that money is the most powerful motivator in the world. Because money represents anything. It is of universal value. Yes, so I guess you want to place um, some sort of prize on the best idea for, say, the ideal content monetization incentive structure, for example. Of course, a prize for the most valuable idea, which by definition would be a proposal of the most profitable business model for Twitter. All right, but imagine this idea was at the bottom of Twitter, captured in the pinned tweet of a shadow banned account by a chronic spammer and troll who does not pay the monthly subscription fee and whose account is not verified. Right, you are saying that even if someone had this idea and published it, it would not travel to the top. Of course not. In fact, even if you placed a price on the best idea, it is not clear to me how you would rank these ideas in the first place. I mean, the first problem is that too many people would participate. And the second problem is that those with a large enough network, you know, with, with large enough reach of their tweets, of their ideas, would get the most visibility, which would then crowd out potentially more valuable ideas. Well, it sounds like we are dealing with a very interesting problem here. Evidently, we would need some kind of human judgment to determine which ideas should be at the top of Elon Musk's mind, at the top of his feed. Exactly, but then people might just tribalistically upvote bad ideas proposed by people they like. Like, say, Jordan Peterson. People's judgment will always be governed by some kind of subjective bias. This is inevitable. It's just human nature. But there's a way to act against human nature. Money. You see, we could place a monetary premium on proper judgment of those who are voting up ideas. You mean if the one million dollar idea was stuck at the bottom of the attention pyramid, those who voted it up could profit from it? Yes, somewhat similar to value stock investing. There are plenty of companies on the stock market which deserve more investment, but are not attended to. They are found by contrarian and value investors, and over time they eventually gain in value, because they gain more attention. Okay, so what you are proposing is really that Elon Musk should turn Twitter into an idea market of sorts, where people could invest into each other's ideas in order to participate in the reward for successful for their successful implementation. Precisely, I think this is actually really the future of the corporation. You don't want to hire a limited number of local minds for your grand project of global significance. Nein, you want to be able to tap into those minds which can contribute the most at a global level. But you cannot hire them full-time, of course. And it is hard to find them. So what you need to do is just that. Turn your social network into an attention trading platform. In the case of Twitter and this Elon Musk attention hierarchy example, you would turn it into an ideal market of sorts. Where Twitter users would be rewarded for communicating the most valuable ideas to top management. And they would be rewarded with this attention currency which you invented, the, the, the mind dollar. The Geistmark, yes. Geistmark, right. To be honest with you, this is the only way I see that you can invent an everything app, you know, a fully open-minded platform, a sort of meta-attention exchange, as I like to think of it. You have a virtual currency which can be mined by means of mere mental power, and meritocratically so, which allows for anyone to offer a mental challenge to benefit from distributed cognition. 
and anyone looking for a mental challenge to find one of their level and be rewarded accordingly. That's the ideal anyways. You are watching the Chat God channel. You are watching the Chat God channel.